up everybody this is Higa and today I'm blessed to be here at the famous Skiba's gym in Carteret New Jersey today on big on the basics we're going to teach you how to do the farmer's walk farmer's walk is a great uh, strength exercise that we can do it works on your uh, legs back but especially your grip strength all right so in the farmer's walk what's really important is the weight's usually going to be pretty heavy right so the pick in my opinion is very important. When you go ahead and pick up the farmer's handles, you wanna make sure that you're centered. I don't wanna be like right here and have it so forward. I wanna make sure I'm getting myself nice and centered as possible so that when I stand up with the weight, it's as easy as I can do it, okay? It doesn't make any sense if I'm gonna pick up the weight from way back here putting all that stress on my back. I wanna use my legs as much as possible to go ahead and start, clamp down and push into the ground and then stand up. Another important thing to consider when you're picking up the farmer's walk is your hand placement. Uh, you don't wanna be way back here because when you go to pick it up, it's gonna tilt forward. That's really hard to hold on. Obviously, you don't wanna be that far forward either because then it's tilting backwards. Instead, make sure you're nice and centered in the middle. And I also like to keep the handles a little close to me. I don't want it to be so far away where I'm spread out where it's opening up my hands. Have it close by, grab it in the center, feet in the ground, keep your traps tight, stand up. All right, here's another thing to consider as well too, gang. This is obviously a big test of grip strength, but to kind of buy my grip a little bit of time, what you want to do is when you pick up the handles, you want to make sure that as you pull, I'm trying to keep my traps nice and tight and I'm actually shrugging and holding the weight as much as I can, okay? The reason why, if I have loose traps, and I go and pick up the weight. Look at how it's just already like sagging. You know, I don't feel tight at all, you know. I can probably buy myself a good 80 to 100 feet if I'm shrugging it and walking down that way instead of having it all on my hands. All right, when you're carrying the farmer's walk handles, it's very important to control the turn. Easy to carry a weight just in one direction, but I've seen a lot of competitors jack themselves up because they make a really sloppy turn. So when you make the turn, usually we turn left-handed. What you want to do is, as I make a left-hand turn, I'm actually trying to hold back this right hand a bit so that I can turn the opposite direction. The one thing you don't want when you turn is having this hand shoot too far forward in front of you. And instead of me going straight with it pointed in the direction I wanted to, it's crossing over and like hitting my leg and opening up my hands. So you gotta really make sure you control your turns. I like to use the ends of the handles as a direction finder. I wanna point it to the direction I wanna go to. And even on the turn, if I make the turn, I wanna make sure I'm pointing it to the direction I have to finish to. So obviously a lot of gyms don't have farmer's walk handles, right? Uh, but let's say if you still wanted to do a farmer's walk exercise, you can easily substitute dumbbells at your gym. So you can get some uh, pretty heavy dumbbells if you want, use them, pick them up the same way, you know, as if it was a regular farmer's handle, but obviously you don't want it opening it up in your hand, you know? All right, let's say if you want to do some farmer's walk carries, but you don't have a lot of space. Uh, you know, some gyms you can do 100 foot runs outside like how we are in Jersey and stuff. Uh, but another alternative way you can do this is you do figure eights. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'll make a left hand turn and then come back and do a right hand turn. It could even be like 20 foot distance and you'd be really surprised how hard that can be and working on your turns and opening up your hands. Alright gang, so hopefully this will help you with your farmer's walk training. 
Again, I think it's a great exercise to help improve your deadlift strength, but especially your grip. Uh, do them if you can after a heavy deadlift day, or if you want to just switch it up, instead of doing deadlifts, do a bunch of uh, farmer's carries. That'll really get your grip and your legs and back working. So for Big on the Basics, this is Higa Monster all the way from Skiba's Gym. Thanks for joining me, I hope this helps. And hey, don't forget, check out these other videos here on our Animal Pack YouTube channel. Aloha.